and welcome to this week's Bruin Banter with my special guest, Sadiqa Bynum. Hey, Kwa. Hey. So, this week, we went against Oklahoma. Although we didn't win, it was our senior meet. Mm -hmm. What an emotional day. How did you feel? It was good. It was very... It was, honestly, it wasn't that emotional for me. It was just very, it was very like, surreal. Like, yeah. whoa, like, last meet in Polly right. type thing. You know, like, it's fun in here. Do you think it sunk in yet? No. It right. hasn't sunk in yet. I think that's why it wasn't as like emotional is because I was very, I just like had so much fun and yeah. like just like, I think that like took away from the fact that it was like my last time. Yeah. There. I think that's why it sunk in for me and Steph when we had our names announced. Yeah. And then I noticed how you were just like your normal self. So I think <laughs> it hasn't sunk in for you yet. Yeah. But for us, we were crying I a think, lot. Well, in the beginning, <laughs> like right before we went out, like when we were doing our like cheer, then I was like, Oh my god. And then like we were watching our video, I was like, wow, oh, yeah. like last video. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There were like definitely like some times when I realized it, but it wasn't, I, I, it hasn't hit me like that hard yet. Yeah. But I know, it, I, I feel it coming soon, like definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And we went to vote first and the vote team has been progressing every week. How do you feel? Good. Yeah. I feel like we've had some ups and downs on vault, um, but I do realize that like our ups are very high and like our lows are kind of just like, eh, like, yeah. you know, like that was a whoopsie type thing. But I do notice that the team is very um, motivated to work on our corrections. Yeah, so. I agree. Yeah. And next we went to bars where one person in particular has been working on her corrections, Janae. Mm -hmm. We've mentioned her a few times in a row now because she just progresses every single week. And this week she again got a new season high of 995. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Janae. That's right. so, so good. Great. Like, great job. Yeah. yeah. And Stella, do you want to talk about her? Yeah, I was so proud for Stella at that meet. Um, you know, she's been working really hard in practice and just finally seeing it pay off was really great. Yeah. yeah. And next we went to Beam. It wasn't our best event, but we were pretty steady. And we have Kate back in getting the nine nines. And we had Nikki, she came through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do you feel Beam went? I wish I was on beam sometimes yeah. because it looks like it's so much fun but also like I love watching you guys because I'm like I like get nervous yeah. you know but I mean just seeing like Caitlin and Nikki just like kill it it's awesome and like having our freshmen just do great is so great. Kwa's secretly so good on beam in summer <laughs> she'll just try stuff out and she could do like standing loud loud and I was just coaching her and yeah she's yeah. amazing I wish you guys could see her on beam <laughs> maybe one day we'll get behind the scenes of Kwa on beam. <laughs> Ooh, That'd be cool. That would be really cool. <laughs> we only have like four more weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta bust out some skills. <laughs> yeah. And then we went to floor and that was just the most fun ever. So much oh fun. Yeah. And now starting with Caitlin on floor, which is such a good decision. She mm -hmm. is so cool and calm always. Yeah. And her dance moves just, I think we get the judges on side when oh, they see sure. her going first. Yeah. Yeah. The coolest thing about Caitlin too is that she has a lot of energy and like starting off with that energy is so great. I agree. Yeah. And then we had Janae bringing her K-pop fans. Yes. <laughs> She's gone a bit viral out there in the <laughs> Korean pop world. So we see you, Jay. Right. <laughs> she might need to do a Korean tour soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she kills it. Her dance Korea. moves, right? <laughs> Shout out to Korea. <laughs> and then I was third. I was just so excited to go and I got my personal best. But I really didn't even look at the score until someone was like, oh, you got 995, mm. and one judge gave you a 10. I was like, whoa. It was so Because I just had good. the most fun, yeah. yeah. And then we had Soph. She killed it. The dance moves. Paulie loves her. Always, yeah. And there was some big heads, and they'd been sprayed in glitter for Soph for yeah. the senior meet. That yeah. was cool. That was really cool. Yeah. Perfect for her, too. She loves right. the glitter. <laughs> and then Angie. I really thought she was about to get that 10. I know. Yeah. I don't, honestly, like, it made me mad because she was like, that that felt like a 10 routine. We were yeah. all like, yeah, like for sure that was a 10 right. routine. You know? I like, like felt it in my soul. I was yeah. turning 10 like before she even landed her last yeah. pass. But okay, we'll, we'll settle for the 995. <laughs> 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 and then Kwa, bringing it in for your fifth win in a row on floor, another 995. How did you feel? It was cool. I mean, it's the same thing, you know, yeah. just like, I just have so much fun, like just doing gymnastics and yeah. like doing a floor routine. And it's like, it's great being in poly because I feel like I'm just able to like, I mean, obviously in any arena, but like, yeah. especially in poly, just because all the fans and, right. you know, like just performing to you guys yeah. and stuff. Like, I love like in this, do you remember when I did that part? Yeah. And like, I like looked at all you guys. Yeah. You looked at me right at the start and I was just like, <laughs> <"Qua."> <laughs> 
Yeah, that was so much fun. I don't think I've ever waved so much in my life, too. I was just loving that, <laughs> waving. I know that you were waving, like, <laughs> just yeah. loved it. I was like, never again can I wave and people will cheer back, so I might as well make the most true. of it. True, very true. Yeah. So, as I just mentioned, you've won five floor titles in a row. And you came onto this team as a walk-on, mm. and then your junior year you got given a scholarship. So, how does that make you feel? It's great. I, honestly, like, it's, it's such a blessing and just knowing that, like, I was able to actually, like, earn a scholarship is so awesome. Um, you know, my freshman year was very rough. <laughs> but I think just, like, knowing that, I think if it weren't for the possibility of earning a scholarship, I, it wouldn't have been as fulfilling. Right. So, so true. Yeah. And awesome. you probably yeah. learned the most new skills of any college gymnast ever. <laughs> You came in and your repertoire of skills has increased so much. Mm. So talk about that. Yeah, I would say, I think definitely just on floor, knowing like when I, before I came here, I was really powerful, but my form was horrible. And like my coach just had me do like random stuff. Yeah. But um, like once I got here, I learned more about like technique and um, you know, like learning like what works for me yeah. and that has helped me a lot. And um, the funniest thing was learning my front layout from full because I was horrible at twisting like before I came here. And then Chris like re-taught me how to how to front twist yeah. and I learned that. So it's never too well to learn new tricks. Yeah. <laughs> Example. <laughs> and so we're both graduating this year. It's our final year on the team. What are you gonna miss most? Oh my gosh, the team, the girls. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. Just like having teammates and like sisters around you is like such a blessing and just having that like energy all the time like every day yeah it's great yeah I'm gonna miss yeah. it it has been an amazing four years competing in Pauli and the senior meet was unbelievable had such a good time take a look behind the scenes Hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes. Here's our Twitter questions for this week. At Gwen underscore Sullivan, and you ask, what are some differences you have noticed about yourself since you first joined the team compared to now? That's a really good question. That is a good question. Yeah. I think the biggest thing for me is um, finding my leadership role on the team. Um, when I first came, I had a lot of difficulty just finding my place and yeah. finding, um, you know, like, how, like, where I belonged and everything. And, um, I think over the years I was able to find um, that my voice mattered and that I was able to, I'm really good at connecting with the girls yeah. and you guys. And um, I think that has been, you know, the, my way of like leading, is that, yeah. like, getting close with the girls. So. Yeah, I agree. The same, when you come in as a freshman, it's hard to be a leader when people are older than you and they have more experience than you, even though you do get told everyone's equal. Mm -hmm. But this year, I think we have such a great mixture of leaders yeah, between you, me, so Soph, yeah. and we even have Peng and Hallie. So yeah. yeah, I think it works out really well. Really good. Yeah. yeah. The next question comes from at UCLA Gymnastics 3, and you ask what floor routine from all of your years at UCLA was your favorite? And also, show us your best Danusha impression. <laughs> <laughs> I think last year was my favorite. Um, that was the legacy routine from Ani Willis. 
And um, I think the coolest thing about it was that it was a legacy routine. And just knowing that I was doing the routine like, for her yeah. was awesome. And I've always wanted that music, so it was yeah. like perfect. Yeah. And my Danusha impression. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> <Da -da -da. laughs> that was good. That was Thanks. accurate. Thanks. <laughs> my favorite routine of mine has to be sophomore year. I think I just came into my own that year. Mm -hmm. Had all their hair stuff in there, obviously the leg stuff in there. <laughs> but I've loved them all, honestly. Miss Val does a great job at finding out your yeah. strengths and weaknesses and yeah. putting them into a, a performance, not even yeah. a routine, a performance. Yeah, yeah. definitely a performance. And the next question comes from at rewalker underscore, and you ask, what are your favorite skills and who was your gymnastics inspiration when you were growing up? I would say my favorite skill is the double AR. Yeah. And just, I think just the reason why I love it so much is because I feel like I'm flying. Yeah. And it's just, it's a really cool concept, like just doing two flips in the air in a like straight body. Yeah. You know, it's like very, like technically it just doesn't seem possible, but it's just, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's also like the feeling of flying. So mine would probably have to be shap on bars. Mm -hmm. When you do a really nice floaty one, you have like that moment of flying yeah. too. Yeah, it's airborne. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And who were your inspirations? Mm -hmm. Tasha Swiker. And it was really cool because when I first got to UCLA, I saw her on campus and I was like freaking out because I saw her and I was like, oh my God, like dream come true. So yeah, it was really cool. And then seeing her at the alumni meet was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had a team meeting this week and we got asked our first dreams as a gymnast. And my response to that was when I was like five or six, I remember watching the 2000 Sydney Olympics mm. and seeing Elena Zamlodkova from Russia. And I don't remember any of the skills she did or anything. All I remember is her ending her floor routine and she was so sassy and she went. <laughs> <laughs> and I, after that, I was like, I need to be like her. And then <laughs> now I'm at UCLA and I have all kinds of gunshots in my routine. Yes, <laughs> yes. and you yeah, work those like. <laughs> I feel like if anyone else were to try and put that in their routine, it just wouldn't be the same. Thank like, you. it just, yeah, that's like noosh for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool in a few years if people have our routines. Right, That'd like, so cool. like we would be legacy yeah. routines. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <laughs> this week, we're headed to the Pac 12 Championships at the University of Washington. 6 p.m. on the Pac 12 Networks. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.